guys and in the last video I have shown you how to get the byte array from a file using two different methods so in this video we'll do things in reverse and we'll write a file using a byte array so we will write byte array to a file so uh, now we can close this and we'll make a new java package and let's call it uh, file write and click finish and inside here we'll, we'll create a new java class called the file and we'll have the main method okay now let's first import java so import java.io and just import everything from this package and let's import java.nio.file.files okay and now let's create a method to write byte array to a file so it will be public static and this will be a method that returns nothing so it will be a void void type method and let's call it to file and it will have a two parameters so the first parameter will be a byte array that we will call data so it will be actual byte array that we want to write to a file and the second parameter will be a destination file so file destination okay and now we need a file output stream and let's call it fls it's a new file output stream and put destination as a parameter of this file output stream and let's put this in a try with resources uh, so try and let's put around it these brackets and we will catch the exception e okay and inside of this private resources we will write fos dot write and let's write the data and that's it we don't need now to close this file output stream because try with resources does this automatically but you can do that also so fos close okay and save this just in case so now in the catch block we can write some message like uh, system dot out dot line and let's write like there was an error okay and let's have some string here so in the main method string some let's call it some text and write any text that you like like this is some sample text okay and now so text And now let's get the bytes from this string. So byte data is uh, some text get bytes. Okay. And now let's write these bytes to a file. So let's create a new file. And it will be like uh, it will call be destination. And it is a new file and let's call it test.txt okay and now let's use our to file method so the file and put the data as a parameter and the destination file as a parameter save this now this will be saved in our project source so let's open the document uh, eclipse workspace c 
so file handling and it will be like here so as you can see there is no that file yet but if we run this and we can see that there is now this text file called test.txt now let's open it and there's our string this is some sample text okay so this is one way to do so the another way is to use this files class and instead of this to file method our own custom method let's use files dot the static method right okay and we'll have two parameters so the first parameter is the path of a file and the second parameter is the are the bytes so here we'll place destination dot to path and let's put here our data that is actually a byte array so surround this with try catch okay save it now let's delete our test txt file so we could know that this works so let's run this okay and as you can see there's again our test.txt file and this is our string so that's it for writing bytes to a file and i hope you enjoyed this video and there will be more videos soon so stay tuned thanks for watching and see you soon bye